Hello, welcome to this DCS AH64D tutorial. In this video, I will be covering some of the map menu options and go into the TSD a little bit more in depth and show you some things that might be useful to you depending on what you're doing with the aircraft. So to begin, we are going to our main TSD page and I'll start off with talking about the show option. The show option is a configuration option for our phase of aircraft flight. Here we can see how we are in nav phase. We can either be in nav or attack phase. So depending on our phase, we can hit show and we can select what is showing on our map. Attack and nav both have separate options and configurations. So you can essentially have two presets for your flight. Waypoint data will show data for your currently selected waypoint. Inactive zones and obstacles are going to be dealing with the FCR, which is not implemented yet. You can show the co-pilot gunner's cursor if they're utilizing their own TSD. And we can show info for our cursor. Depending on wherever it is, we will see it populate down here. We can also choose to show wind conditions based on aircraft sensors the endurance limit of our aircraft, depending on our weight and fuel state, and we have the option to show our HSI. You can also have uh, settings as far as um, control measures, friendly and enemy units, threats, and also determine how your aircraft is going to show threats. Uh, whether or not you want your ASC, aircraft survivability indicators, or any of these other things. You can play with it and see what you like. I generally just leave it on default. All right, moving past our phase and our show options, we can go into the uh, map options themselves by clicking the map key currently shown on B4. Here we will see a few options pop up. We will see type, and this determines the output layout of our TSD. We're currently in chart, you're probably used to this, but we also have dig, digital, sat, satellite, and stick. Digital will show us a digital uh, terrain looking output. Under digital, we have some new options, color band being the main one to focus on. And we can choose um, of the three, aircraft color band, elevation color band, or none. For elevation, it will change the color on the display based on the elevation of the terrain, so you get an idea of what's going on out there. For aircraft color band, it will change the um, display based on the elevation of our aircraft. Terrain features higher than our aircraft will be red. Um, things co out or slightly lower will be yellowish, and then everything else will be gray. Contours, I don't see any changes. It should give us contour lines. Same with FFD. I don't believe it's implemented at this point. Um, as far as the satellite options, it is very similar. We can choose the satellite resolution level. I don't believe this is implemented either. And we can use our zoom to see satellite imagery in this case. The last mode stick just shows us our waypoint and route information, nothing else. One thing to note, depending on our map type, if we zoom to an unsupported level, it will either default us back to stick or show a black screen. This is if imagery is not available for the resolution we are asking. In chart, we can choose the scale of the chart, depending on our zoom levels, uh, scale that we wish. I generally just leave this on one-to-one. -one. Color band, I don't see any changes. 
in chart view. View 2D, 3D does nothing at this point. An orientation you're used to messing with, north up, heading up, all of that. Freeze freezes the current output, and center will either center or offset your map. Grid will either hide or show these grid lines. Slope shade will change automatically depending on what mode type that you are in. All right, I'll close out of the map options. Finally, we have INST instruments. We have a timer, our HSI with a heading indicator, currently shown as 180 degrees by this. If I change it to east, for example, I can click heading. I'll type in 090. Now we can see our heading has changed to 090, and we have the opposite heading indicator here. One last useful thing is the CAC, C-A-Q. We choose this option. We have the ability to put down a pilot interest point by clicking the cursor. And now we see pilot. The co-pilot also can do this, and you can both be referencing points to each other in the aircraft. A useful feature of this is either just for reference between the both of you, or you can change your acquisition mode to the pilot indicators. You can also change the um, pilot uh, CAC indicator, just like you would a normal waypoint. So if I select point, hover over it and select it, we can see it as point T55, and we can delete it, edit it, what have you, same as normal. So I'll go ahead and delete point T55. If you delete after using your CAC, uh, make sure you reselect your acquisition mode. Also able to be done from your weapons page. That covers some neat extra functionalities of your map and some settings within it. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.